Welcome Leos and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 10th of January through to Sunday the 16th of January 2022. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the week ahead. Leo's just before we get into those crowning messages, I just want to share with you your channeled message I received whilst meditating for this reading. Many of you um, are either not uh, living the life that you kind of want, okay? Um, I, I, that's what I was picking up. Um, and many of you, you know the reasons why, okay? It's almost like... Um, you're not confident either in your skills or abilities with regards to love. It may be there's something that you're not confident about, okay? But you do know the answer. You know the answer. Um, whoever you are connecting with, they are either upset or a little bit heartbroken over misunderstandings, miscommunication, not sure whether or not you are choosing them. Um, and it's creating a lot of internal conflict for them or they're feeling as if they've got to fight um, for for you. Yeah, they may feel that there's competition for you. Now, many of you may know that already. OK, and it feels as if um, you're being guided to. I almost kind of got some scales, so it almost feels as if speaking about it or reaching out to this person um, is like it's not going to go in your favor. You might get a bit of a backlash from them because they are upset. So it feels as if the scales aren't going to be in your favor. And it feels as if um, your channeled message was kind of guiding you to really weigh up your options um, before you reach out to this person, before you speak to this person. But most importantly, um, those of you that I'm connecting with, um, you really do know how to connect with Divine Spirit Universe, okay? You may be um, either like a, like a spiritual healer or that's one of your gifts, okay? I feel that you're being guided to connect with Divine before you do anything this week, okay? Um, many of you that may be through actual meditation or prayer or fasting, um, and I feel that whoever you are connected with that is either upset not sure what's going on with you um what you guys may not realize is that this person uh you have a very special bond with them and they've been put on your path to guide you to help grow to help evolve your spiritual journey so it's almost like you have the answers within you. You may be picking up that this person is upset or confused about where they stand with you. I feel that if you reach out to this person this week, um, it's, it's not going to go in your favour. You might get a bit of a backlash. So it's like divine saying, lean on your higher self, divine spirit universe. Yeah. Um, and I feel that they will guide you. They will guide you as to what action to take. Many of you, I feel that you're being guided um, through that channeled message to um, just continue with your everyday duties, like everyday stuff, you know, cleaning your house, doing the shopping, um, clear your, try and clear your mind, okay, uh, clear your mind because that is where I feel that you will get the answers that are already in you, but it's like your spirit teams will show you. All right. Uh, they will show you what direction to take with this person. So trust your intuition. Many of you, you might have to actually just show some compassion to this person. But it says your card here says shine brightly like the star you are. So many of you, I feel that you do have the power to heal this connection. But it feels like it's not this week. You may need to take a, a week this week to just reconnect with yourself, either through meditation or through um, 
prayers, pray, praying, yeah, if you're into praying, um, whatever it is that connects you with your higher self, that's what you're being guided to do. Because it feels as if there's something that's a bit unbalanced, something's off key, all right? Okay, let's see. Now let's get into your um, crowning messages and see how this connects. See if we can get some more info for you. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning messages to the question, how does the soulmates of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing. Ooh. Oh, wow. Fertility. Okay, so uh, something is ready to be birthed. Something is be ready to be birthed, um, a new beginning, a new start. Um, this could be um, in other aspects of your life, okay? Um, maybe you guys are about to embark on a new journey, but something really beautiful is growing, is... Um, yeah, something is really, really growing. Something is ready to be birthed and it's going to make you really, really happy. Um, if it's a new project or a new job or something maybe to do with your health or family or something, something, it, it feels like another aspect of your life other than love, okay, is about to be birthed and it's going to make you real happy. It's like you're ready to birth this. Whoever you are connecting with, either this person is um, with child, okay, or you are with child. And if you are the person with child, so Leo females, if you are the person with child, okay, or you found out that you're pregnant, it feels as if, um, it feels as if, if you tell your person, that you're pregnant, um, you might get a bit of a backlash for some reason. It feels like it's going to upset them. So it feels that you need to connect with divine spirit universe before you tell them. You may need to just um, be still this week before you deliver that news, okay? Because it feels that they're upset over something and it feels as if, you then telling them that you're pregnant um, is going to be the straw that breaks the camel's back. For those of you um, that your person may be pregnant, the same message applies. They may be upset with you. They may have news to tell you that they're pregnant. And they're really confused because you may be giving mixed signals or there's something going on with the two of you and it feels as if they're really confused, really conflicted what to do with being pregnant and how to deliver that news to you. So I feel let this person just be for this week and you connect to Divine Spirit Universe. They may feel that you're going to uh, um, be upset if you tell them that they're pregnant, if they tell you they're pregnant, those are for Leo men. For those of you that are, um, that like somebody being pregnant is just not even a thing, okay? Um, it could be that there is something that is being birthed between the two of you, a new beginning, a new start. Remember your channeled message. It came through that this person, whoever you're connecting with, um, there is a very, very deep bond between the two of you and it feels as if this person has been brought on your path, Leo, to help you grow and evolve spiritually. But you may not be seeing that and you may be denying it, um, resisting it, or you may have cut this person out, not realising that actually Divine Spirit Universe is ready to birth this relationship in whatever shape, form or or another it could be a friendship it could be a romantic connection but something definitely is ready to be birthed okay let's continue my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me your crowning messages to the question how does these soulmates thank you 
Oh, wow. So either you are grieving the loss of somebody or your person is, um, but this is um, literally a loss. M maybe some of you have felt that you've lost this person or um, you've gone through loss outside of this connection. I feel that you are uh, ready for a transformation or transformation is coming towards you for a new start. It's like you're ready to turn over a new leaf, to birth, birth something new, a new beginning. OK, um, many of you, if this is a loss or a bereavement, um, you may be coming out of the healing process, ready to um, uh take life by the horns and to it almost feels as if you you're re-engaging with life again ready to birth something new okay finding your happiness again and for many of you whoever you are connecting with that's a little bit upset or um confused uh they may be part of your healing process that you may not be even be seeing right now Whoever you are connecting with may also be going through, um, oh wow, they've just said to me, um, somebody that you are connected with, if you are married or you are already in an existing relationship and you have been trying for a child, this person may have um, miscarried or female Leos, you may have miscarried. So that's why it feels as if there is a conversation um, that's not going to go in your favour because the person you're connecting with is heartbroken, really confused, conflicted, almost kind of if you're both spiritual people asking divine spirit universe why, like why did you lose that child, that unborn child? And that's possibly why you're being guided to connect with Divine Spirit Universe, your higher self, for healing, for guidance. Wow. Let's continue. My angels, and thank you. Wow, yeah, there's a new beginning. That didn't even need to, I didn't even need to shuffle that. Many of you are embarking on a new beginning, a new project. Many of you, if um, you have gone through some sort of loss or bereavement or you're closing the door on something that didn't serve you, there's a transformation, a birth of a new beginning. And that feels as if that's for you as an individual individual. For those of you that are resonating with the message that um, somebody, uh, either you or the person that you're connected with, has lost a child, uh, you, I feel that um, you or this person will fall pregnant again. There will be a new beginning. And I feel that you may not see the light at the end of the tunnel, but to step into that new beginning with confidence. You may not feel that you have the confidence to keep going forward. Apply some self-compassion. For those of you that somebody has gone through a loss or bereavement, either you or this person are ready for a new beginning, ready to birth something new. But whoever you're connecting with, they are confused, they're heartbroken. This card wanted to stay here. Animals. So animal totems may be around you or animals may be around you, trying to comfort you, heal you, let you know that divine spirit universe is around you. Pay attention to those signs and synchronicities, whether it's actual animals or, or animal totems. Yeah. So if you start seeing animals around you, birds, cats, dogs. Know that divine spirit universe is is pouring out um, healing to you in order to for you to transform from whatever kind of grief 
or loss or bereavement, whatever it is, so that you can take that step for a new beginning with confidence. I'm going to just place this one here. Wow, your um, crowning message was quite deep, Leos. Let's have a look and see what your crowning wisdom message is. My angels and spirit guides of the... Dip Thank you. Yeah, look at that. Serendipity. Luck is all around you. Whatever this change is, um, luck is all around you. This is a lucky time. Divine spirit is around you. And it, it feels as if they're saying, take that leap of faith to enter that new beginning. Many of you, whoever you are connected with, you may have lived past lives with this person. And that is why they are on your path to help you with healing or you to help them with some sort of healing. But it's a very lucky time. It's a lucky time to start this new beginning, to take that leap of faith. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me your crowning? Thank you. Yeah, many of you, I, and I said that, those of you that have lost a child, okay, um, or your person has lost a child, many of you may be asking why, like why? Hence why your channeled message is saying, connect with your uh, higher self, divine spirit universe. If you are not asking the question why, whatever the circumstances are, you're being guided to ask yourself why. What is the motivation behind your actions? What is the motivation behind um, the person who's upset? Why? You have the answers within you. That's I keep getting that. You have the answers within you, but it's like you're not connecting with your higher selves, uh, Leos. It's like you're not asking the pertinent question, why? If this person is upset, confused, feeling conflicted, why is that? It's like by understanding the why, you'll be able to take action accordingly. With confidence. But it almost feels as if that's kind of why your channeled message was saying reaching out to this person or them reaching out to you isn't a wise decision this week. Because many of you may not know the why. There's something you guys are not seeing and I feel that your spirit team is saying that you need to see that. Oh wow, yin. This is the uh, feminine, divine feminine energy. It almost feels as if uh, Leo's, um, with the yin coming out, the, I feel that this person is the um, yin to your yang, yang to your yin. Whoever this person is or whoever you're connecting with, you balance out each other. There's luck in this connection, but many of you may not be asking why. And I feel that Divine Spirit Universe, particularly if you guys have denied the connection or resisted the connection, you may not be seeing that this person is part of your emotional healing in some way, or you are part of their emotional healing. Something is ready to be birthed here. And many of you with that yin energy, Either you are being guided to step into your divine feminine energy to receive, to be receptive to your emotions, to feelings of yourself or to whoever you are connecting with. So it almost feels as if there's some sort of self-compassion or compassion to this other person, recognizing their feelings, their emotions asking why why are they upset why are they feeling confused why are they feeling conflicted and that's when uh the luck will turn around like luck will be on your side because then you'll have a better understanding a better understanding of what's going on emotionally for them and for you all right i also feel as if um with that yin card coming out, it almost feels as if um, 
you may be guided to let this person um to make the first move okay um towards you to gather more information understanding the clues the signs and synchronicities Allowing the art of conscious thinking and feeling to come through. And it might be in the small little things that they do or the small things that they say um, that you're being guided to pay attention to. And it's almost like once you've got <coughs> all of that information, then you can really uh, take it to Divine Spirit Universe to guide your steps. All right. But with serendipity, the opportunity is around. The luck is around. Something is turning around to create and birth a new beginning. So be aware of, again, all of the signs and synchronicities around you. This is almost like you becoming in alignment by listening or paying attention to the little gestures or this person taking the lead to you, um, taking the lead. So it's almost like you reaching out to this person ain't a good idea. But if they come towards you, pay attention to the little things that they are telling you. Because with serendipity here, many of you will be in the right place at the right time to receive this information. To recognise the why and so therefore, um, it's as if Divine Spirit Universe is saying that you are ready to go on this new journey, this new path. And with serendipity, it's just echoing, okay, that whoever you are connecting with, um, as I saw in your channel's message, this person is, is part of your journey in some way. They're important. And it almost feels as if they are bringing this person into your life. Divine Spirit Universe um, is guiding you to let you know that this person is lucky. Lucky for you. It's part, they're part of your evolution. They're part of your journey. That's quite... Uh, your message, uh, Leo, is quite deep today. And I feel that I'm getting several uh, messages, loss, bereavement, loss of an unborn child, denying or resisting a connection. Maybe you've been given out mixed messages, but this person, whoever it is, the connection is ready to be birthed. But there's a fundamental question that you're uh, maybe not asking yourself why what is the motivation for this person showing you kindness showing you compassion showing you little signs of love affection and if you dig deeper and connect with divine spirit universe many of you will realize that this person is either heartbroken over something that you've done or said And they're confused. All right. Leos, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click on that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push this video out to other Leos. It also enables you to get those notifications when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, it does help to support the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. Existing subscribers, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all your support, encouragement and and donations it's really appreciated and i really do hope that you all get a useful and meaningful message out of this week's um reading let's get into your main love message my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me how does these soulmates of leo sun moon rising and venus feel towards them in love week commencing monday the 10th of january through to Sunday, the 16th of January, 2022. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Leo that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, 
so below and all around me thank you leo's any of the cards that jumped out in your pre-shuffle if they pop out on camera i'll call them out for you oh okay wow so whoever you want whoever you're connected to uh leo's wants to have a serious conversation about something i feel that um with the three of cups here either this person feels as if there is competition for you they may feel that there's a third party um or if you are grieving in some way that's maybe the third party energy that's in this connection otherwise they want to get to know you they want to celebrate this connection with you wow Whoever you're connecting with, they want to build a future with you. But do you know something? I feel that um, you want to you you want to you want to build a future um, with this person as well, or you are focusing on building a future for yourself. Okay, many of you with the Queen of Swords, either you cut out this person, or you denied the connection, or you resisted. You're very very guarded, very 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 guarded. And that kind of explains why this person is feeling, thank you, yeah, heartbroken. Um, with the strength card, I feel that this person is, is using every bit of strength and courage. Um, or it's going to require you, sorry, uh, you to use every bit of strength and courage to ask yourself the question, why? Why does this person want to talk to you? Why does this person want to build a future with you? Why do they uh, want to celebrate this connection? I feel both of you have gone through some sort of heartbreak within this connection. Rest in your monkey minds, okay? Overthinking, overanalyzing in a place of healing. So if you guys have gone through some sort of grief loss, uh, many of you may be uh, may have been in, in, in healing. Many of you may have focused on work, okay but you've definitely been in healing and i said that it felt like you guys were coming out of a healing process of lost bereavement and you're ready now to birth a new beginning a new beginning but it feels like it's going to take a lot of strength and courage and leo's this is your uh, major arcana the strength card it feels as if you, uh, it's going to take a lot of strength and courage either to speak your truth, to ask yourself the question why this person wants to be around you, celebrate this connection, or talk about um, third party energy, or if they feel that there is somebody else um, that you're interested in. But it's like this person is going to be giving you small tokens of gesture, um, of compassion, of love. But with the Knight of Cups coming in reverse, I feel that this person is actually suppressing their emotions for you. They love you, but they're suppressing. Thank you. Oh, wow. With the Death card, um, I feel that this person is going through a bit of a transformation or they're wanting transformation of the connection. Could be dealing with a Scorpio or you could have Scorpio in your chart. I feel that they want to talk. They want to create a transformation in this connection. So many of you may have cut out this person or said something sharp. But you're guarded, you're guarded. But they want a transformation. They want to be around you. They want to celebrate this connection. Thank you. Oh, wow. This person sees you as their twin flame, their ultimate soulmate. So this person does want to be around you. They want to celebrate this connection. I would say whoever you're connecting with, they are quite spiritual. Because they, if you've cut them out, you may not have seen you may not have seen um, the depth of this connection. Remember your channeled message was saying that this person has been brought on your path for a reason. They are part of your growth, part of your evolution. And many of you may not have seen that because you may be grieving either thinking that you lost this person when you cut them out or said something sharp.
or you're just not seeing the connection that you've lived many lives with this person you you have some sort of soul contract but there is a new beginning with the death and the lover's card side by side something between the two of you is ready to be birthed i feel that this person already knows it intuitively and it feels as if you're being guided to connect with divine spirit universe so that you can see things um, intuitively as well. You also could be dealing with a Gemini or you could have Gemini in your chart. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify how does these soulmates of leo sun moon rising and venus feel towards them it thank you oh my god there's the heartbreak i cannot even believe that this person is heartbroken over something that you said or resisted or denied the connection and all they want to do is be around you, celebrate this connection. This connection is very, very lucky. But you guys may not be asking the why. Why is this person showing you compassion, particularly if you've been grieving outside of this connection? Or if when you said something that was cutting or um, you pushed this person away, away, you denied the connection, you may not realise this person is grieving. They may be confused. Maybe you're giving mixed messages. And I feel that it's going to take a lot of strength and courage for you to come towards this person, to answer the questions why, to pay attention to the signs and synchronicities with this serendipity and this yin card here. Why is this person being so nice to you? Why is this person um, showing you compassion? What it's like, it's like you're being guided to see the little things that they do. It's because they want some sort of transformation. If you have denied the connection, resisted the connection, cut this person out, said something cutting, but they were heartbroken. And look, with the uh, hermit card, uh, I feel that this person is seeking guidance, wisdom to make wise choices with you. Because I feel that this person does want to build a future with you, but you may not be seeing that because you're not asking why. Like, why is this person uh, reaching out? Why is this person showing little signs of compassion or, you know, little soft signs of um, kindness? Could be dealing with a Virgo or you could have Virgo in your chart with um the five of wands so it's you that's feeling really conflicted it feels as if you're conflicted to um move towards this person to speak your truth quite guarded you're quite guarded about something cleo's and that's conflicting you you're feeling conflicted. I feel that you're being guided this week. Until you really understand the why. So maybe for many of you, the why is understanding your motivation for cutting this person out, for being really blunt about something, for denying or resisting the connection. That is possibly what the strength is, is why Maybe why this person is being so nice to you after you cut them out, after you resisted the connection, denied the connection. But it almost feels as if you're being guided to turn it the other way. To have the strength and the courage to ask yourself, why did you cut out this person? Why did you uh, resist this connection? And that's where many of you are really feeling this conflict within yourself it's like you don't understand why this person is still being really nice to you look deeper because whoever this person is they are part of your life journey your spiritual journey they may genuinely be your twin flame ultimate soulmate that's how they see you let's continue thank you and thank you wow 
So with the Knight of Coins and the King of Cups coming up here, this is really crazy because many of you, um, this is your energy, male or female, you're actually quite solid, grounded. Like, I feel that you, you've got a lot of love for this person. So what, do you know what? Even I, as a reader, I'm asking myself, well, well then why did you come out? Why did you resist the connection? Why did you deny it? Why did you say something blunt or cutting that was enough to break their heart? Because you've got a lot of love for this person. Do you know what? You're being guided to fight for this connection. It's going to take a lot of strength and uh, courage to fight for this connection, to fight for the why. Because it's like this connection is very lucky. It is blessed almost. That's why you're feeling conflicted. It almost feels as if, Leo's, like you're doing and saying one thing, but what you're feeling is very different. That's why you're conflicted. And so that is why your channel's message was saying you already know the answers, but you're being guided to be confident in this love this solid commitment that you want with this person. So it's right, you, with the 10 of coins here, you do want to build a future with this person. But maybe you're not confident in it for some reason. Well, I feel that you have an opportunity um, for Divine Spirit Universe to guide you to this new beginning. It almost feels as if Divine Spirit is saying, take that leap of faith walk through that portal you may not see what is ahead of you but they will guide your way because something beautiful is about to be birthed yeah many of you are um stagnant spiritually stagnant not sure what to do i feel that if you guys have gone through some sort of loss or bereavement or you thought that you had lost this person because of something that you said or denied or resisted the connection. You're reflecting on that. Asking, well, why is this person being really nice to me? It's time to release that because you've got the answer within you. You just need to be confident to take the action of, of taking that step towards a new beginning. And asking yourself, well, why did you cut this person out? Say something cutting when evidently the cards are saying that you want to build a future with them. You see something solid with them. You've got a lot of love for them. You, it's like you're going to have to fight for this connection, but almost fight for what you truly want. Let's have a look and see what the Four of Swords as your bonus card is saying. Oops, thank you. Wow, so this person, I feel as if it's taken them every bit of strength and courage to not overthink whatever you've said uh, or denied or resisted the connection. Every bit of strength and courage to heal from harsh words, I feel. Misunderstandings, miscommunication, Leo coming out very strongly here. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify the Four of Swords for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and oh, thank you. Yeah, you're blocking a new beginning. Do you know what? It almost feels a little bit like self-sabotage, Leos. You have all these feelings for this person. You may deep down know that there is something really beautiful with this connection. You may already know that this person is, you may already feel the bonds between the two of you, but for some reason you're denying it. Now, some of you could be, ha have gone through some sort of loss or bereavement, so your head is just not even there. Or when you cut out this person, denied, resisted the connection, you actually grieved because you thought that you'd lost them. So it's almost as if you're confused, conflicted. Why is this person being really nice? You're being guided to ask yourself why. Why? 
why what was the motivation of you cutting out this person denying the connection why are they being really nice to you it's because this person is part of uh, a new beginning many of you you may end up having children with this person that child or children that are birthed um their job on this earth could be very very profound and so therefore you can't deny it if that makes sense you can't deny what divine spirit universe has planned for you and this person and if the two of you are supposed to birth another human being that is supposed to have an impact in this world you can't deny that you may make um you know your free will choices you know, that will put you down um, many different roads and blockages. and But the road will come back to this person, you know, whatever your free will is. So it's like you can deny, you can resist, you can whatever. But this person and you, it feels as if there's a, pur there's a purpose, a purpose to be birthed, a new beginning. Wow. I feel that I need to pull just one more card in the center. In fact, I don't need these cards. I feel like I need a clarifier. Thank you. Oh, my days. Look at that. Look at that for a moment. The Queen of Coins and the Sun card. I didn't even need to shuffle, but I knew that I needed more cards. This person um, is ready for long term commitment, marriage male or female and that's where you're going to have victory victory abundance wow victory abundance prosperity this is a beautiful connection uh leos but many of you may be uh not seeing it or confused by it which we saw by the five of wands You've got this internal conflict and I feel for whatever it is, but I feel that divine spirit universe is saying that, do you know what? It's the right time. It's the right place to birth this new beginning. Wow. Let's have a look at your advice. Leo coming out again strong. You're coming out strong with the sun card. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Thank you. Signs. Yeah, look. Your past loved ones are never far from you. Notice the signs they send you. So for many of you, I would say quite a lot of you, you may have gone through some sort of loss or bereavement. And so therefore you didn't really see the connection. This person is part of your healing process. The bond between the two of you is almost like your, your, your guides. Uh, the people that have passed over or person that has passed over is trying to bring this connection in. It's like they want you to be happy. Move. Get up, get active. Try gentle exercise such as yoga, tai chi or pilates. So I feel that um, that's that energy that I was picking up in your channel's message. Do your everyday duties. Yeah, you know, carry on with the practical stuff in life, you know, cleaning the house, doing the shopping, um, you know, going on a run, um, you know, doing your exercise, um, paying the bills. Uh, keep things moving because as you not as you disconnect from overthinking this situation with whoever you're connecting with that's when you're going to get the clarity many of you uh, maybe uh you know enjoy exercising yoga pilates but gentle exercise do some meditation as well and your final card spend some time with your friends share your thoughts with someone who understands you so many of you i feel that um lean on your support network with regards to this connection whether this person is pregnant or you're pregnant whether you have gone through some sort of loss or bereavement or they have whether you felt that you had lost this person because of something that you said whatever it is uh leos 
I feel as if you're not living your best life because it's like this person is part of it. But you already know the answers. You may need to just clear your energy of whatever that five of wands is, confusion, you know, internal conflict in order for you to connect with divine spirit universe to to hear your intuition listen to your intuition and ask the profound question why like why is this person important in your life at this point why did you cut why did you cut them out say something sharp denied resisted the connection when you love them and you want to build a future with them why if you can ask those questions, then you will start to unpick why this person is significant in your life. All right. I'm going to leave that there for you. If it resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye bye.